So um, basically this is going to be about back titrations and what they do or how they're used. So um, if you've listened to the podcast already, hopefully you'll have a bit, you'll understand that a back titration is used when we have a weak acid that we don't know when we're trying to find something out about a weak acid. And that's to combat the fact that when we use weak acids and we use weak bases, we don't get a perfect endpoint. So here's a problem where we have 20 mils of an unknown concentration of ethanoic acid or acetic acid. Now, to do this, normally you would titrate with a base, so say with NaOH. You might have a base of a known concentration, so you might have one molar NaOH, and you titrate with that until you get your endpoint. But because ethanoic acid is a weak acid, you need to do your back titration. Okay, and a back titration involves, um, first of all, reacting this with a certain amount of this, and then titrating that with a weak, with a strong acid. Sorry. So, what we're going to do is. We're going to I'm going to try and draw what happens so you'll have a better understanding of it. So over here, I'm going to draw a nice beaker with 20 mils of CH. What is it? C double OH. All right, acetic acid. Now, this will be reacted with excess NaOH plus perhaps um, what we're we going to say. 50 mil 1 molar NaOH. And that will give you an unknown amount of 1 molar NaOH left over because this is going to be an excess amount. So you're going to have a certain amount of NaOH left over because all of this will now be reacted. So what you do is we need to find out how much this is. So what we do is we titrate, it's a beautiful purette here, with um, hydrochloric acid, one molar. And we work out how much is in our sodium hydroxide. Now, this is a better way of titrating because we got a strong acid and a strong base, and we need that to get a sharp endpoint. So this is here. That's just kind of steps there. We have a weak acid. We can't titrate that because we won't get a nice endpoint. So we react it all with an excess. 50 mils is an excess sodium hydroxide. That leaves us with an unknown amount of that left over. So then we titrate it with this. Now say our titrations, our titer comes out at about give or take 21 mil. Alright, so we titrate it with this and we get 21 mil. How do we work out what our initial concentration of this is? How do we work out M, the molar, molarity, sorry, not M, C, concentration, but it's in molarity. The way we do that is we do a bit of stoic and a bit of writing down what we're finding out. So we first of all do an equation for this, which will be hydrochloric acid plus sodium hydroxide goes to HNaCl plus H2O. It's balanced. Life's good. We have 1 molar and 21 mil. We have 1 molar of this, but unknown mil. Remember, this is the amount that's left over. So we do, right, number of moles equals, what does number of moles equal? It equals C times V, which will be 1 times 0 0.021 equals 0 0.021 moles. Okay. And that is of HCl. Put it there so you can see it. All right, because we can find out number of moles of that. It's a one-to-one -one ratio, so number of moles of HCl will equal the number of moles of Na 
OH. So therefore, that will equal 0 0.021 mole. The volume, so, will be equal to number of moles over concentration, which will be 0 0.021 over our concentration, which is 1, which equals 0 0.021 litres, which equals 21 mil. So that's how much is left over. Fair enough. We take that and we say number of moles of supplied, take away number of moles of left, equals number of moles of NaOH that reacted with our initial um, acid, CH3COOH. Sorry, I'll put that there. So, number of moles supplied, take away leftover, equals the amount of reactor there. Now, how much did we put in initially? We put in 50 mils. So, 50 mils, take away how much reacted? It was 21 mils equals how much must have reacted with that? 29 mils. Okay, reacted with our CH3COOH. So therefore, we do an equation showing the sodium hydroxide reacting with this. We do NaOH plus ch 3 c o h goes to nach 3 o plus H2O. Okay, because it's just an acid base reaction. And therefore, we have a one to one ratio. So we go, how much of this was it? It was 29 mils from before. And the concentration was one molar. How much of this did we have? Initially, we had 20 mils. So that's 20 mils with an unknown molarity. So we do number of moles of NaOH equals C times V, which equals C is 1 times V is 0 0.029 equals 0 0.029 based on this stuff here. Number of moles of NaOH equals number of moles of CH3, COOH because it's a one-to-one -one ratio. If I had numbers there, I'd obviously do a ratio here. 0 0.029. So then we go C equals, what does C equal? N over V. So concentration equals 0 0.029 over 0 0.02, because our volume was 20 mils. And we work out what that is. And it's going to be about one point something or other. Let's get a calculator. Doo -doo -doo. Where are we? Um, point oh nine oh two nine divided by point oh two equals one point four five molar. So our original concentration must have been one point four five molar. That's the back titration. Just quickly looking at it again. We have an unknown weak acid. We react it with excess base. That means we have base left over. We titrate to find out how much base is left over. Therefore, we work out how much base reacted. And therefore, we can work out that. So back titration because you need to work backwards get to here. It's just a nice name for it really. Um, I might do another problem like this, um, so just bear with me and I'll upload another one.